I think it's official. The Cubs are the best team in baseball. Please. That's it. That's it. That's it. The Cubs won. Does anybody happen to know what the earliest a team has ever clinched the division? I can't keep a straight face. Guys, today over on Twitch, again, which will be linked down below, we'll be doing the same thing tomorrow. We watch or we live react to the entire Cubs Brewers game. And despite the fact that reigning Cy Young award winner Corbin Burns was on the mound for the Brewers, the Cubs won 5 4. Again, so if you want to come hang out with me tomorrow, top link in the description. Make sure you follow the Twitch channel. Come chat. Watch the Cubs hopefully win another one. We'll see. Oh, that's a rip. That's dropping. That's a home run. <laughs> I think I just fucking blew out my knee celebrating. Anyways, guys, with game one of 162 in the books, I wanted to come and talk about today and some of the key things that I noticed, some things that really stood out to me. Most of it was positive. There were still a few negative things here and there. So that's what this video is going to be about. I think right off the bat, a solid outing from Kyle Hendricks. His only real issue was just allowing the leadoff man to get on base. It seemed like after the second inning, every single time Walkie came up to bat, the leadoff would get on base. We were able to work around it for the most part, but that is something that we have to cut down on. Nico freaking Horner, man. First home run since 2019, and it was very much needed. Off the bat, I did not think it was gone whatsoever. I think with him, it's just a matter of keeping him healthy. Ian Happ had a phenomenal game. That huge rip off the wall, which I actually thought was a home run. It's ironic because the one that was a homer, I thought wasn't gone. And the one that was, didn't go out. Oh my God, is that a home run? Oh! But either way, a clutch base hit for Ian Happ that eventually led to us winning the game. I've been advocating and praying that Happ could have a bounce back season after a real disappointing one last year. If this team wants any chance at competing for the division or even competing for a playoff spot, players like him are going to have to step up. Speaking of that, Jason Hayward surprisingly had a really solid game. I don't expect much from Jay Hay at the plate these days, but... You know what, man? Maybe I spoke too soon. You know what pissed me off the most of the game today? Was was Frank the Tank grounded into the fucking double play when we had no outs, man on first, and it was a 3-0 count. Ironically, I was screaming green pass, have a rip, and then he just grounds into a double play, which I was so mad. Hey, swing away, Frank. Swing away, baby. Okay, all right. Do not swing away. He just grounded into a fucking double play. Another new guy, Clint Frazier, with a huge pinch hit at bat there towards the end of the game. And of course, my boy, future MVP, rookie of the year. He's going to do it all, Suzuki. The right side, the pitch. That's a rip. That's a rip. Hit in the left field. What really stood out to me was the patience at the plate. I know he's not technically a rookie considering he's 27 years old. But imagine your first Major League Baseball game is against... Corbin Burns, the reigning Cy Young winner. He had a base hit. He had two walks. Just everything and more I could ever ask for him. I'm going to ride the Suzuki hype till the end of the year. I'm, I'm getting a jersey. I'm not putting it on that wall. Don't worry. It's not going to that wall. But I'm getting a damn jersey. As for negatives, the number one thing that screams out to me is the bullpen. I'm just not really sure how it's going to hold up. Pretty much everyone in that damn pin is like over the age of 35 and can barely touch 90. David Robertson had a good ninth inning. Michael Gibbons for me is the guy. That is my only hope. I view him more of like a situational pitcher. Kicks deals. Oh! Struck him out. Oh! But man, oh man, if every game is going to be like this one, it is going to be a long season for the pin. But hey, the Cubs got it done. 1-0. Game number two of 162 is tomorrow. I believe 11.20, same start time, Pacific Standard Time. Again, make sure you go head over to the Twitch stream so you can come hang out with me, live react with me. I hope to see all you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you guys do drop a like. Make sure you guys do drop a subscription. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.